Hi everyone, welcome to Analog Electronics Tutorial Part 2 and in this session we will cover three important sections of analog electronics. First of all, we will see how to use LT spice and on the second part, we will see how we can build a general DC circuit. For example, we will build a voltage divider circuit with LT spice and on the third part, we will see how to perform a DC analysis with this software. If you haven't watched the previous videos of analog electronics, the links are in the description box below where I have explained how to determine the polarities of voltage and current that might be helpful for you to understand KVL and KCL. If you want to encourage me, subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So let's get started. To begin working with LT spice, First of all, we need to create a new schematic and we need to remember that to build a circuit, we need certain components like resistors, capacitors, diode, wires, etc. This is the ground and here we can find the label. This is resistor and this button will show you, give you capacitor. This will give you inductor. This will give you diode. and in the component section, there lies general components like voltage source, current source, op-amps. Such as we want to take a voltage source, we need to write VOL. And as we can see, it is automatically showing a voltage source. Suppose we want to take a current source. Now we have to write current. Again, it is showing the current source. Now, we just have to click OK. Now, we have taken a current source and the voltage source. We need to remember that we have to use ground on every voltage source or current source. So, we are taking ground like this. And if you want to add a level, here is the level button. Now, Suppose for the voltage source, I am writing, uh, I will take the level as V, V input like this. And again, I'm going to take a level for the current source, such as let us take current one. Levels are not generally needed, but it is very helpful for us while we design the complicated circuits. Now we have to connect the sources. Now I'm connecting the level with the voltage source. Sorry, it's the current source. And again, I'm connecting the negative side of the current source with the ground by using a wire. Again, we can find the wire here. Again, I'm connecting the voltage level with the voltage source. And the negative part of the voltage source is connected to the ground. What if we want to take a resistor? The resistor can be found here. And if you click it, you can get it. And if you want to rotate it, you just have to click the rotate button. It is rotating rotating and rotating same for the diode by clicking this button it is giving a diode and for capacitor this is the capacitor sign we can get the capacitor this is just a basic introduction of how to find the components now in the next section we will see how to build a voltage divider circuit using LT spice. Uh, before jumping to the next section, I want to show you a few more things that will be necessary to understand LT spice. Now, to zoom in, we have to click this button. This will zoom your desired section, and to zoom out, you have to press the zoom out button like this. Now, 
to cut anything you need to use the cut tool and suppose you want to remove the diode so you just select the area and press cut button and it will it will be cut and after that to move anything you need to select the drag button again you need to select the area and you need you can move it where you want like this this one is the run button we will see the details of it when we jump into the next section and this one stands for spice directive this is needed when you want to insert an external component to your lt spy software therefore you need to just add the directive for the component and the concept uh, the concept of this will be clearer when we go to the next section so let's get started on the next section in this section we will see how to build the voltage divider circuit I have already built the voltage divider circuit for our reference but we will again build it with the small steps so to build it our first step will be taking the voltage source now I'm clicking on the component and I have already written the voltage source VOL I'm just pressing enter and i have got my voltage source now i'm going to add the ground and i'm going to take a level such as v input now i need to connect it with the wires v input is connected to the positive part of the voltage source and the negative part of the voltage source is connected to the ground if you want to take a value uh, for the voltage source you need to right click your mouse and enter the DC value for example we will take 20 volts to build the rest of the circuit we need to take two resistors so i'm taking two resistors and again we need to take the ground to connect the resistors with the voltage input we just need to add the level again i'm going to take the level as v input i just have to connect it with the wires like this like this now i'm going to insert the values for the resistors by right clicking it and i will take 10 ohms on each as it's a voltage divider we need to take the voltage output from the middle of the resistors so I'm taking another level V out now I just have to connect it from the middle of the resistors with the V out level this V out is our desired output in this part we will show how to perform the DC analysis with our voltage divider circuit I have removed the uh, reference circuit uh, to make it look neater now to perform the DC analysis we have to click the run button and it is showing several options from there we have to take the last option that is DC OP PNT now if we press OK it will perform the DC analysis and show you the output value from there uh, from here we can see that it is showing the output uh, V output value that is 10 volts and similarly 
we can see the currents for resistors 3, resistor 4 and also the current from the voltage source V2 that is same as V input. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.